practically we realize an exhibition related to the Pirelli calendar that doesn't really follow the chronological order as usually happened in this kind of exhibition, retrospective exhibition, and even more when it's a calendar. So we decide to find out the keywords, if you want, the, the, the main topics that the photographers was looking at, you know. So when we get all the pictures on the table, we realize that there was five and five concept that was the photographers that was every time you know with some kind of once in a while um, calling you know and so we get romantic rooms we get a rooms where we talk about more the icon and the sign and the symbols around the calendar and then we got the period where woman you know get her freedom and then in art and then when the woman is on stage and the idea of the illusion etc. So we, we put together all these different themes, different subjects and we create the exhibition where I say again it's not following any any criteria of chronological order but it's more something open to the contrast and the connection between the images. We have five rooms and we have around 200 pictures. Also we did an important work on restoration of the picture of the file because we had the many file was an electronic format, other there was the original film, etc. And uh, so it's a, it's a special exhibition and in particular it's, an, it's a great homage to the woman and again is against the, the people that think that the calendar uh, with woman is a kind of superficial project about pin up, etc. It's more really an exhibition that talks about the evolution of the woman from the beginning of the 60s until now. So it's the history of the woman through the eyes of uh, the master of the media of the, you know, our contemporary world.